And now, a Canadian moment. Well, Celine Dion is going to be the spokesdiva for Air Canada. Air Canada better think twice before they hire Celine Dion. How come? Well, look what happened to the Titanic. <laughs> so, who do you think is going to win the greatest Canadian? Vera, it's going to come down to Pierre Trudeau or Don Cherry. It's a no-brainer. Pierre Trudeau was a brilliant statesman, a dynamic orator, a dedicated intellectual with a strong national vision. You going with Cherry? That's right. <laughs> Me too. Oh, yeah. I don't know about you, but I'm suffering from hockey withdrawal. Money to be made there, Sam. There is. Totally. All a travel agency has to do is arrange bus trips to bars in Alabama. Then hockey fans can get their fix watching toothless white guys fight. <laughs> Did you see they're bringing in new airport equipment to detect traces of explosive on boarding passes? Oh, yeah. It's all part of Transport Canada's continuing policy of making your airport check-in longer than your actual flight. So what do you think of Sheila Cobb's going to Kingston to act in the Steel Magnolias play? Nothing wrong with politicians getting the acting bug. Gilles Duceppe could star in Six Degrees of Separation. Jack Layton could be in Raging Bull. And Stephen Harper could star in Dead Man Walking. <laughs> Did you hear parents in the American Bible Belt won't let their kids out on Halloween because it's on a Sunday? Well, it's only right. The sacred day should be left for the one event it's intended for. Watching football. <laughs> I got that right. Tell me about it. Totally. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This has been a Canadian moment. Tell me about it. Uh, uh.